Reliability and validity are two important qualities of research and they also apply to measurement. The idea of reliability is that your study is reliable if repeated in the same study again gives you the same result. In quantitative research the analysis is done by a computer and ideally it is so well documented that if you do the study again you do the exact same calculations. Because computer doesn't introduce any random error or random noise to your result then the only reason why your study could be unreliable is because your measures could be unreliable. So for that reason uh, reliability in quantitative research is typically an attribute that is uh, associated with me the measurement procedures and nothing else. Then uh, validity is a more complicated concept and uh, it can be thought of as uh, four different levels of validity. First of all you have uh, measurement validity which refers to whether your variables actually measure the things that they're supposed to measure. Then you have statistical conclusion validity which means that you have identified the correct associations or correct differences in the population so our statistics are correct. Then we have internal validity which means that the, uh, the theory is correct or the associations that we claim are causal are actually causal. So that's uh, whether the causal inference part of the study has been done correctly. Then external validity is simply uh, whether the study generalizes to other populations. So that's uh, mostly about generalizability and we cannot really assess that statistically. That's a theoretical argument. The two important qualities of measurement are reliability and measurement validity. To understand what those two concepts actually mean it's useful to take a look at this target practice diagram. So this is a, a target that somebody is shooting and uh, here we have uh, only uh, a small amount of this person in the hits but the sights are off. So, the hit, so this shooter is uh, very precise but he's not hitting the target. This is a reliable but not valid measurement. Then this is, the, this is another shooter which is uh, not very, uh, very precise so the, uh, the hits are all over but the sights are correct so on average he is hitting the target. So this is uh, not reliable but valid. And uh, there is uh, some disagreement in the literature whether you can have validity without reliability. Let's postpone that for a while but uh, it's at this point important to understand uh, what these concepts are. So the validity is whether the sites are correct and then uh, reliability is whether the shooter is, hits the same spot all the time. So are you hitting the same spot? Are you hitting uh, the bull's eye? Which one of these is more serious problem? You can think of it as uh, would it be safer to stand here in, in front of this target? or would it be safer to stand here in front of this target? If my head was here on the, in the bullseye, this guy would eventually kill me. If I, my head was here, then I would be pretty safe because uh, this guy would never hit me. So the lack of validity is, is more problematic than lack of reliability because an invalid measure is always incorrect. An unreliable measure can sometimes provide you the correct value if it's valid. The idea of um, no re validity without reliability basically refers to uh, if you are just looking at one of these, these hits. So uh, these hits individually are not very valuable because uh, they're so, so dispersed, they're so unreliable. So in that sense if you just look at uh, one hit on the target it's unlikely to be uh, close to the bull's eye. So that's the argument for no re validity without reliability. But if you look at these uh, as a collection, let's say these are five repeated studies and then uh, after the study has been done, those five studies have been done, then we are, we are trying to uh, aggregate those somehow. Then as a collection these five hits are valid because they are on average on, on, the, uh, on the bull's eye. So reliability is a problem if you just do an individual measurement, an individual study. Reliability can be less of a problem if you get to do multiple measurements 
and multiple unreliable measurements actually could uh, produce you valid inference.